Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Erzan Iliazi, who is Director of Global Operations Division at the Office of Information and Communication Technology, United Nations. Erzan, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Thank you for inviting me. Perhaps we could start off by telling uh, our viewers a little bit about what the Office of Information and Communication Technology does. Our uh, Office of Information and uh, Communication Technology of United Nations is uh, pretty much responsible for the delivery of ICT services to the United Nations Secretariat. As you know, United Nations Secretariat is uh, uh, very large. It has uh, offices in over 500 locations around the world. And uh, we are uh, uh, responsible for the delivery of ICT services to all of these uh, offices. Now, in terms of uh, the sustainable development goals, the UN sustainable development goals that are attracting a lot of attention at the moment, I wanted to ask you, how can ICTs help achieve the SDGs? Um, obviously, uh, the implementation of the sustainable development goals uh, lies with uh, member states. Uh, what uh, we can do is actually be a glue that uh, connects uh, all uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, in some of the sustainable development goals, technology plays a uh, bigger role. In some of the sustainable development goals, uh, not so much. But uh, um, we uh, are committed to work with uh, all the partners around the world to uh, help them uh, help them do the implementation. Especially, it is important for, in terms of uh, reporting on the uh, uh, on the on the progress of the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. There we touch on, uh, on data. Uh, one fact is that about 90% of uh, data that is currently available is actually produced in the last two years, which is, uh, which is impressive. So now uh, what we can provide is the analysis of that data that can give us a lot of pointers and key performance indicators for the delivery of, this, uh, of these goals. From where you stand, do you think that the digital divide is any closer to being bridged? Well, in my professional career, I, I uh, spent uh, about uh, uh, six years in the uh, Department of Field Support uh, working uh, for peacekeepers. Um, and uh, uh, when I was working in, uh, in West Africa, uh, at that time, uh, the national provider uh, had about two megabit uh, internet line. Uh, since that time till now, which is, uh, what, about 10 years, uh, there, is, there was a tremendous progress, really. So I wouldn't really agree that the digital uh, divide uh, uh, is very wide. It is uh, much, much uh, closer uh, than, than it seems. And uh, uh, what United Nations is trying to do in collaboration with, uh, 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 with other United Nations agencies, including ITU, is to assist member states to actually, uh, um, uh, in the areas of applications as well as infrastructure, bridge this divide. How important is collaboration to you? Oh, without collaboration, we just cannot succeed in uh, in any of the areas uh, uh, in any of the areas that we are doing. Uh, for example, um, uh, we see collaboration on several levels. We see collaboration on uh, on the level of employees, uh, and in that sense, we are developing uh, a lot of uh, uh, tools that are uh, connecting different United Nations agencies, funds, and programs. Uh, I. I can mention that we are uh, moving towards uh, federating our directories so people can uh, uh, easily chat between each other and uh, have unfor informal or formal groups. But at the same time, we also need to collaborate with uh, 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 internal to the United Nations uh, uh, between the funds and programs on the formal projects. Uh, however, that's not all. As a United Nations system, we also need to collaborate with member states, with academia, with uh, uh, other international organizations. Uh, in that sense, uh, the uh, leadership of, um, uh, I, uh, of uh, Secretariat, uh, Office of Information and Communication Technology is really important because of the uh, of sheer amount of people that we have around the world that, are, uh, that can assist in, uh, uh, in this collaboration and the leadership under our uh, Assistant Secretary General, Ms. Riazi. Finally, what's the value to you of events such as ITU Telecom World? Why are you here? Uh, I have been participating uh, on and off at this event since uh, 2011. And um, uh, uh, very important uh, for us from United Nations Secretariat is that we uh, uh, get to do two things. We first uh, 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 
present what we can uh, contribute to the other organizations. But at the same time, we also want to see what member states, uh, as well as private and public sector, can actually uh, give to us and how can we uh, find uh, uh, areas of collaboration. Uh, in that sense, uh, this year we, are, uh, we have been talking quite a lot about creation of uh, innovation centers, which is uh, very, very important for the, uh, for the Secretariat. These innovation centers are supposed to uh, uh, be uh, research centers where we can provide technological solutions for the development, uh, uh, sustainable development goals. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Thank you for having me.